Hello, YouTube! Have you heard of the mispronunciation manual videos? Futi Pajama. Futi Pajama. Well, you have a chance to win $1,000 if you submit a video similar to the one that I just showed you to this new contest that I Justine is hosting called Do the Craze. It's really easy and it's actually really cool. You just have to go to cambio.com slash do the craze and all of the information that you need for the contest is there. I'll put a link to the website and the contest below if you are interested in winning some money for pronouncing some words wrong. But back to the topic at hand, Futi Pajamas. I mean, footy pajamas. If you haven't heard yet, myself and Ariana Brinkerhoff held this giant footy pajama meetup thing at VidCon. And a representative from Record Setter, the direct competitor to Guinness World Records, happened to be at VidCon, saw the event, and informed us of something awesome. Uh, congratulations, uh, we have just set a brand new Record Setter world record for the most people wearing one piece pajamas. Uh, 99 people collaborated. And this is It actually ended up being listed as the largest one-piece pajama parade, which I'm pretty sure is a record that didn't exist before VidCon. But still, we broke a record without even trying. So we had 99 people there all together in footy pajamas. Apparently, the Guinness World Record for the largest footed pajama party is 309 people. And the record is held by Jumpin' Jammers, the company that makes footy pajamas. How lame is that, guys? We need to take this from them. That's why I've teamed up with Melissa and Ellie, and I'm going to try to break the Guinness World Record, the big one, at LeakyCon this summer. But I need your help. If you are attending LeakyCon, and you or anybody that you know owns a pair of footy pajamas, please, please bring them. Bring all of the footy pajamas that you can get your hands on. I've also done a bit of research for you guys, and I will link below a bunch of places that you can get footy pajamas online for less than $20. You can also find them at Target, you can find them at Walmart, sometimes you can find them at Costco, or if you want a fancier pair and don't mind spending a little bit of money, Jumpin' Jammers does sell really cool footy pajamas and it's where I get most of mine. In order to get an actual Guinness rep at our event, it takes either more time than we currently have or it costs a lot of money. But it's possible to get your record approved without a Guinness rep there if you have tons and tons of documentation of yourself setting the record. So there's going to be a big footy pajama after party after the Wizard Rock show on Friday at LeakyCon. We're gonna set up a sort of photo booth situation so we can get a picture of every single person in their footy pajamas so that we can send a big gallery full of all the footy pajama clad people over to Guinness. We're also gonna have a guest book so you can write down your name so that your name will actually be listed in the group of people that helped to break the world record if we succeed, when we succeed. We just need 310 people to be in footy pajamas in the same place to break the record. I think we can totally do that. How awesome would it be to be able to say that we broke a world record together, guys? Please let me know in the comments below if you are going to LeakyCon and plan to attend this event in your footy pajamas. I'm also gonna have a link to a Facebook event that I would love it if you could RSVP to so that we know how many people to expect. Hey, some YouTubers try to top their country's music charts. Some YouTubers try to win a chance to get on a national talk show. I just want to break the footy pajama world record. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Yes, this is a temporary tattoo of a skull and crossbones in a spade on my arm. <laughs> Played D&D yesterday, come on.